defense did a lot of good things for three quarters, and then in the fourth, kind of fell flat a little bit, 18 points allowed. Um, what happened differently in the fourth? Yeah, I know they, they seemed to come out in the second half with uh, really good energy. We were missing some tackles, and they were uh, they were making some plays. They were playing at a faster level than we were. And um, the, the, this this uh, this league, to me, is totally up for grabs on who's going who's gonna to win it. And um, it's going to come down to who makes plays in the fourth quarter. And they made more than we did tonight. Offensively, it seems like you know there's a couple of drives where things are good, but it seems like you're just off, timing-wise, spacing-wise, chemistry-wise. Like you know, how do you see what's happening? I would I would agree with that. I, we do some really good things, and we have some really good intentions, but we miss some plays that uh, are going to be difference makers of you know picking up first downs, staying on the field, or scoring a touchdown, whatever that is. And so we need to keep working and making sure people are on the um, you know on the same page. Nathan was running around a lot, and, and it wasn't often with Hamilton blitzing. Um, you know, was that a product of the old line not doing his part? Did he pull it down too early? Like, how do you I don't know. We're going to have to look at that. I'm not against him pulling it down, I'll tell you that. I know it's always good when it just, it's just functions right and he's got the ball out of his hands, but I'm all, that's part of his game that makes him good is, is making some, extending some plays. Obviously, we want to live like that all the time, but... I um, think it's a product of uh, maybe some coverage stuff. And then, um, um, you know, sometimes it's him having to hold on to the ball, and other times it's uh, um, getting pressure and he's got to try to escape. Is this, like, losses are bad, but is this loss that hurts a little more? I hope so. And in a way, I hope, I, hope it, I hope it doesn't. I think it does. I'd be really worried if it didn't. Um, we have a we have a good good group of guys. Um, I don't we don't respond well when things don't go our way. We're we're good when things are humming along and um, that that's okay. But when when something goes wrong as far as the other team makes a play or we think a call's bad or something like that, we don't we don't respond quickly enough. And we need to be better at that and not be phased by uh, by a game where um, it gets tough at the end. You know, like you're gonna have to if you're gonna win in this league coming down the home stretch or in the playoffs, you're going to have to not be phased by a back and forth game that, that comes down to the fourth quarter. And um, I think we can, we can improve on that. I feel like at the end there with the, uh, the call from the command center of, of PI, do you feel you guys... I, I haven't seen it. I don't, I don't know. I, how do you feel you guys responded to that? Well, the ball's on the one yard line. After that point, I'm just saying it's your odds are in the offense's favor. I, I just mean throughout the game, I want to be better at when something doesn't go our way or the other team makes a play because they're going to make plays. They got players that can play is that we can just kind of rebound and respond, respond quicker and not be by, not be phased by it. You said earlier this week that the ideal scenario is Nathan starts all four games remaining and you guys win. What was your assessment of him tonight? And did he do enough to yeah, I think he I think he played well enough for us to win. I think we have I think we have some players doing some really good stuff. We just don't do it on a consistent enough basis across the board. Um, and I think he played well enough for us to for us to win tonight. There's a lot of talk about a couple of um, third down decisions early in the game. You seemed like you had them on the back foot after the Passant uh, drop. You elected to kick that field goal. Some people think you should have gone for it there. What do you think of that decision? Right um, I always look at it the next day to make sure I'm I'm doing what's right, but I also am trying to do uh, positive things for our football team to to help them win. So that's uh, that's that's what I'm doing. And then just before overtime, obviously it's a third and one and a half, third and two. Was there any thought to you to go for it and, and try and convert that and then score? That um, tough. Fourteen seconds with a running clock. So, and you'd be after my ass if I, if I didn't get it on third and two. So you're kind of in the results oriented thing. So if it works, you think I'm smart. And if it doesn't work, you'd think I'm a dumbass. So that's kind of how you roll, but that's, uh, that's fine.